Weddings are a big deal in India and people really like to make it count when they come around. And this year too, the wedding season was a blast. Even those who preferred a more intimate wedding were catered to. In fact, the 23-day wedding season saw 3.8 million weddings, which means 7.6 million people got married. Fun fact, that's more than Hong Kong's entire population. And that's not all. The wedding industry clocked over rupees 4.7 trillion or 4.7 lakh crores in 2023. That's an annual earnings growth of 26%. It's a trend that's anticipated to continue in 2024. But, but, can you guess which industry gets a big piece of this big fat wedding cake? The hotel or hospitality sector. Hotels have capitalized on this wedding surge. They've also established dedicated teams to cater to weddings. Even though COVID terribly hampered the growth of this sector, now the sector has almost recovered to its pre-COVID levels. But before we get into the finer details, let's understand how hotels measure revenue. Here, we'll focus on two key metrics, RevPAR and ARR. RevPAR or revenue per available room is a key performance metric used in the industry. This measures the average revenue generated per available room in a hotel or a lodge over a specific period. With this, we can assess how the hotel performed in terms of efficiency in revenue generation. Average room rate or ARR is also a commonly used metric. ARR simply means the average price a hotel charges for its rooms. This metric is crucial for pricing strategies and revenue management. Usually, if ARR increases, then RevPAR also increases. Okay, that's enough Gyan. Now let's get back to our main story. This market is worth over 20 billion US dollars, which is about 9% of India's GDP. Since 2019, the market cap of this industry has grown 3x. Robust earnings momentum, valuation re-rating driven by domestic travel theme, and three new listings are the reasons for this. After COVID, there was a surge in domestic travel. There are many reasons for this. People finally started traveling again, new infrastructure created by the government, and travel demand boost due to mega hospitality events. In the previous two budgets, the government has expressed investment initiatives to make India a global tourist hub. According to this report by JLL, $401 million were invested in the Indian hospitality sector in 2023. This is nearly a four-fold increase from 2022. And 2023 saw a record number of hotel signings and openings. Even in Tier 2 cities, the interest in hotel development activity has increased as 54% of the total signings took place in such locations. In the first quarter of 2024, hotel transaction volumes increased by 80% to reach $78 million. So, what's next? Is there still room for growth? The recent trains have been rather positive. An interesting trend can be seen since April 2022. As the ARR increases, RavePAR also keeps growing. According to HVS Anarok, most city markets in February 2024 have recorded double-digit growth rates compared to the previous year. Nationwide, both ARR and RevPAR numbers have witnessed robust growth in February 2024, be it year-on-year -year or month-on-month. -month. And according to industry estimates, supply CAGR is expected to increase 5-6% to and demand CAGR approximately 10%. According to an analyst report, over the next two years, the CAGR across hotels could be 7-9%. to New asset additions or completions will be key for companies to deliver EBITDA CAGR of 15-20% to over the next two years. If you too are feeling bullish about the sector and its growth prospects ahead, check this specialized basket out. Curated by a research team, this portfolio allows you to invest in the hotel and hospitality sector with just one click. Anyway, I'll see you around. I'm going to book myself a nice hotel somewhere in the mountains. You all have any suggestions? Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all related documents carefully before investing.